Let's make this beautiful Christmas decoration with Americana multi-surface satin acrylic paints. First we need to turn each of these smooth foam balls into beads by pushing a skewer into the starter hole at one end and slowly pushing it most of the way through towards the other end. Keep it straight so it stays centered and then push it in from the other side until the skewer goes all the way through. Use the end of a paintbrush or a skewer to hold the balls as you paint them with these beautiful satin colors. I'm using dark scarlet, green beret, and muted gold. Let that first coat dry completely before adding a second coat. We're working with some paper lined adhesive tape and we're going to take a strip and press it around the center seam of each ball and then we're going to peel off the paper liner and press the ribbon around and trim off the excess. Now let's embellish each of the smaller balls with some white straight pins. We're just going to push them in all the way around above and below the ribbon. If the pins are a little too long for this smaller ball, just use some wire cutters to trim them shorter. Now let's paint the largest ball. We're going to use three different colors here. First, we're going to draw four of these football shaped ovals on the ball with pencil. I used a black marker just so you could see the lines a little easier here in the video. You can make paper templates to trace the lines if you want. Put the ball on top of a little tin can to hold it steady while you paint. We're going to paint each section with two coats, alternating the red and green for the ovals with gold in between. I found it was easier to do one half of the ball at a time. And you can paint right up against the lines using a flat brush like this, and you don't have to worry about being perfect because we're going to cover these lines later with ribbon. Now you know you can't have a Christmas ornament without glitter. We're going to use the triple thick glaze and brush a nice thin coat over the gold sections. I really liked how the glitter looked with the gold underneath it better than if we just put the glitter directly on the white ball. So paint that glaze on there nice and even. And then we're going to sprinkle it with glitter, tap off the excess, and brush away any stray glitter on the sides. Now we're going to put strips of tape all along the lines, but try to keep the adhesive mostly on the painted side. It sticks better there than it does on the glitter. Remove the liners and attach the ribbons. Trim off the excess of each ribbon at the top and bottom of the ornament. Okay, now everything's dry and we can string this all together. Start with a little holiday charm at the end of a long piece of floral wire and twist the end of the wire up and thread a larger bead on top to hide the twisted wire. And then you can string the two smaller balls with really pretty beads in between. And you can use a flat round filigree charm like this against the bottom of the large ball to cover the ends of the ribbons. Fold the end of the wire and run it right through that large ball and then add another filigree charm at the top. Now let's take some wide wired ribbon Take a long piece of it and fold it back and forth on itself to make a nice large bow and then take a separate little piece to pinch that bow together and tie a knot. Position the bow on top of the ball right in front of the wire and secure it to the top with a couple of straight pins. Bend the remaining wire at the top into a loop. Coil the end right around the base and then pin that coil into the ball to secure the loop for hanging. This is going to look so pretty spinning from a hook on the ceiling or it would be really great hanging in an archway between rooms. Be sure to visit decoart.com for more great ideas using Americana multi-surface satin acrylic paints.